Put your hands in the air. Now wave them like you just don't care. Good. You're safe. I want you to move away from the missing link. No. No, you don't understand. He's trying to help us. Step aside. Harry and the Hendersons here just killed my best friend and partner. Aw, I'm your best friend? I mean, it's definitely like a good one. What are you doing here? Well, I'm like your guardian angel now, watching over you from above. Always watching. Do you have anything better to do? Well, yeah, I'm about to surf a tidal wave of clouds. A bunch of dodo birds is the surfboard. Heaven rules! <laughs> this monster has been killing for too long, and now it's time to take him out. I had a really great time tonight. Now it's back to the woods. And now it's time to die. I am not gonna ask again. Move away from the Sasquatch with the small dick. No, you're making a big mistake. He's a good person. He's no person. He's a monster. <sighs> Don't move. <sighs> Stop right there. <sighs> I will blow your brains out. Love is the only force capable of turning an enemy into a friend. Martin Luther King Jr. Thank you. No. Thank you. Wow. You can't unsee that. Well, well, well. Looks like I wasn't invited to this little party. Who are you? Don't you recognize your killer when you see her? Homemade Bigfoot boots, you big dummy. <laughs> you can't be. Check your gender bias, bitch. Not so fast, Dana Scully. Everyone just take a big step over. All right, all of you line up, numbnuts. That's right. I killed all of them. Your partner, old man Osborne, and all the rest. I was just doing my part to protect the environment from your polluting human ways. You come in with your camping and your police tape and you're destroying the majesty of nature. I wish you'd killed him. He was the worst one of them all. You would have been a perfect fall guy. But I guess I've got to finish it myself. But which one goes first? Grandma! <laughs> You did it! You saved us! Did I kill it? Did I hit the deer? We thought you were dead. I was. What was heaven like? It was amazing. Up to mighty London. Thanks again, old lady. Of course. We should get you home to your parents, and I should see a doctor immediately. Not so fast. You did just murder a woman. We kind of have to deal with that. We'll need a good lawyer, and I think I know where we'll get one. Hello, I'm Wainwright, and I'm here to tell you that faking insanity is a completely valid defense against any allegation. It worked for me, and it can work for you. Cuckoo could you. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to arrest you for murder. Did I mention I'm dying? 
Let's call it manslaughter. I'm, I'm sorry, Grandma. I don't think I'll be able to go anywhere like this. My ankle's still totally busted. It's fixed! It's totally better! Wow! Why the fuck didn't you do that earlier? As much as I'd love to stand here and listen to you yell at that pile of dogs, I'm extremely short on a live time over here. Just give me one minute, Grandma, okay? I'm sorry, babe. I gotta go. This isn't goodbye. Well, it kind of is, though. Just not a permanent goodbye, just like a bye, see you soon. There's something I have to tell you. What? I'm pregnant. Possibly. Who knows? I just wanted you to know that anything is possible. You taught me that. I won't forget you. Or you. Maybe, maybe. Okay, Casanova. Well, we should get you back to your parents. I don't have any. I'm an orphan. Bigfoot? What do you say we take her in and be one big happy family? 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 Yeah. Family. <laughs> so is that blowjob still on the table? <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, I think it's pretty inappropriate given our new dynamic. Totally. I get that, for sure. I get that. And so, Grace, Sloan, and Bigfoot all lived happily ever after. So did Chad. His grandmother died like... 20 minutes later, but we all knew it was coming, so it wasn't that big of a deal. The end. Well, that about does it for our story tonight. Hope you had a good time. And it was all 100% true. How do I know? Well, just so happens that Bigfoot was me. Look, I'm not whoever it is that you think I am. I, I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and you started talking to me. Uh, I've just been too polite to say anything until now. Did you hear what I said? That Bigfoot was me. Well, that's just the unbelievable cherry on top of an already implausible story. Look, man, I even told you that the Bigfoot had a small penis. Why would I tell you that? Just to tell you if it wasn't true. I'm being vulnerable here, man. Okay. Uh, well, if, if you were the Bigfoot, then uh, why didn't you heal the grandma that was clearly dying and needed your help? I, I mean, you fixed that kid's ankle. 